So over the last week and a bit, we've seen an absolute upset in the FA Cup, Leeds losing 3-0 to Crawley Town. Hello and welcome to the third ever episode of the Sideline Podcast. I'm here at Fionn. I'm good, I'm good. Um, so Marcelo Bielsa's men have had another upset and it's against a League 2 team. Crawley Town, um, they've conceded, they've conceded three goals, um, away against Crawley Town in the FA Cup. Um, I saw the goals, and Kiko Casilla has had another. He's had another howler. Um, what are your what are your thoughts on that, Fionn? Do you think that this open uh, style of football that Marcel Bielsa is adamant on playing, do you think that it, uh, it might be time to give it all up? Yeah, I was thinking, you see, that is sort of the whole brand, uh, really, with Marcelo Bielsa's um, performances, really, and the Leeds performances this season is that you will, you will win some, but you will lose some, and when you do, you can lose by a lot. But on the flip side of that, Bielsa is clearly getting the Leeds fans uh, back loving football and we've seen it we've seen it time and again um I don't think for a long time I've seen a team come up from the championship and and have as much hype involved um as this as this Leeds team you know because because they're a historic team and this new way that they're playing you know it's very open but I mean we've had other upsets in the FA Cup, I mean, really, haven't we? Every year, there there is different ones. I mean, the first one, the Wigan and Man City. You have you have um, Manchester United and MK Dons. This this sort of stuff does happen, but you know, it kind of it makes you wonder. Really, is I mean, there's no question, is he up for the job? He's obviously a, a big name in football, but is the season sort of falling away from them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean when you think about it other teams, I mean obviously of Fulham uh coming up this year uh you know West Brom, I mean they haven't really they haven't really done much. They're not very, you know, exciting teams to watch. Admittedly, though, Fulham have done a lot better than I, I think a lot of people uh, would have thought. Um, but really, like, Leeds are catching the eye. And it's rare that you'll see a team that can lose so often and by so much gets talked up so much by the press. 
And uh, I think, no, but I, 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 I do love watching them play, but it can be hard to see upsets like that, especially when they, they played a, a, a decent team. You know, they've held Acosta, they've Rodrigo, they've Aliotti on the pitch, Shackleton, Rafinha. You see these, and Calvin Phillips, in goal, Kiko Casilla had he had a howler, and I mean for a former for a former Real Madrid player, you know, what are what are your thoughts on him? It was one of those performances where, I mean, as a Leeds, as a Leeds defender, you don't really have an awful lot of confidence in your goalkeeper. And that makes it, you know, if, if you've no confidence in your goalkeeper behind you, it, does, it doesn't help the defence at all. And this man, Kiko Casilla, he's trying to get in past Melier. I mean, obviously, Melier is having a, he's having a good season. I mean, all things considered, he's, he's still young. But, I mean, he has to be doing better than that. I mean, the first goal, obviously, it went under him. It was very, very stoppable. Uh, the second goal went, was it under his legs or right in by his near post? And, I mean, the last one, I um, I don't think he's at fault. He did, but for the last goal, for the last goal, the defender's got to clear that. It's it's pure and so it's bobbing around the box, comes off the keeper, and it, it's smacked home. But I mean, like I mean, where if you're if you are Marcel Bielsa, where do you go from here? But this is against Crawley Town. I mean, for like, I mean, like, I mean, as a Leeds fan, not a Leeds fan, but if I if I am a Leeds fan, I'm wondering, you know, what's gone wrong? Uh, what's gone wrong? Like, how have we let? How have we let this Crawley Town side uh, blitz us um, today? 3 0. I mean, that's no joke. I mean,. I couldn't get one. Go I mean, like, the stats, the stats don't lie. I mean, it's. Kind of, I mean, they had the possession. They seventy-one percent possession. It fourteen shots. So Crawley actually, Crawley had fifteen shots. So they had more. Crawley had six shots on target. Leeds only had two. For an attacking, for an attacking team. I mean, I don't know. There. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's it's a rare moment. It's a big upset for the team. in the Premier League, yeah. Because they've, they've got... Yeah, you know, because, I mean, obviously, Premier League, take your 150 million, go out and buy some players. Um, You know, obviously, I mean, that's where Sheffield... That's what happened to Sheffield. This is why Leicester, you know, kicked on. And um, they didn't... They didn't... Uh, they weren't just a one-season wonder club, but... They did, yeah. What do you think happened there? They were in the top four. They were in the top four for the whole year, and they just... 
Uh, they just slipped at the end, but I think, Fionn, we are coming up to time. Thanks for talking.